Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. My name is Gina and uh, today I'm going to be showing how to do this purse. I figure it's mom, uh, Mother's Day and uh, this would be a nice gift for uh, for mothers or for anybody that would like a bag. Um, so it's a simple bag, it's not too complicated. So I did um, double sliders and the inside I kept it simple. I only added one pocket but you can definitely do more. Um, so I'm going to just give you a list of materials that you'll need for this and uh, we're going to get started. So I'll put my bag here. So what are we going to be needing? For the front of the bag that we have here, front and bag and back, we're going to need um, to cut from a fabric of your choice. Um, I'm going to actually be using this print here. So I have all my pieces here. So we'll start with the straps. So um, for the straps, I cut a, a piece uh, of about um, two and a half inches. And um, I sew them together. This is what I have here. That's two and a half inches that I did here. I fold it together like that, did a seam, and turn it to the right side. Then what I'm going to use, I'm going to put um, Peltex this product here and it's uh, 71F and it's kind of a stiff material and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna after I sew it I'm gonna slide it in so because I want my handles to stay up like that so they don't bend down okay um, so we're gonna be using so two pieces of the black two and a half by whatever length you desire uh, mine here I just use uh, a strip of the fabric the whole length and I divide it in two and then you're going to need uh, the piece of Peltex uh, as long as you need for your uh, for your strap okay this one here, here is fusible in one side um, but uh, it's okay when after you slide it in I, I already did it on this one after you sew this this one I didn't sew it yet after you sew it, turn it to the right side, you're going to slide this in and you're going to iron and it's going to fuse to one side. What I want, however, I want this to be about one inch shorter than my fabric. Okay, so when this is going to be in here, I want this to be slightly shorter. Okay, I don't want it to go all the way to the end because it's going to be really uh, thick when I fold it to uh, to sew it to my bag. Okay, so this we're going to put here to the side. We're going to need one zipper, and I didn't have zipper by the yard, so I'm going to be cutting one of these. I'm actually going to cut it. This is one that's done, but I'm actually going to open it up. I like open. I like my zippers when they are by the yard. It's easier to work with. So, and this one, I would say. Uh, longer than your bag than the fabric. So this one here is about 24 inches. That's what I have here. Then we're going to need a little bit of fabric for tabs to go on the side of our bag. And then you're going to need two pieces. And what I have here, it's four inches that I have here. So it's four inches by by eight. And then I'm going to fold in half, fold and fold and fold again. And I'm going to need two of those pieces like that. That's going to be for the sides of my bag. We're going to need two D rings. And um, we're going to need two clips. And also we're going to be needing two pieces the same size as the four inches wide by about four inches three to four inches it doesn't really matter we can trim it down so this one is three by four and what I did is I folded the four side that's this way I fold half 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 and then I'm gonna need two of those pieces that we're gonna do here so that I have here I still need to sew them um, the inside, what I did, I did a pocket. So the pocket, you can do whatever side, size you want. Mine here is about um, eight and a half inches by 
by seven and a half and I did two colors I put them together I saw I wanted to have a little bit of the black on the yellow so I saw them flip them out and um, and uh, I will be putting that on inside of my bag but pockets it's optional you can do whatever size you know as many as you want you can do ones with zippers it's up to you for the, the bottom the bottom of my bag here I have I cut a piece of black fabric that's five inches by by 11 so I have five by 11 and the Peltex that I cut here that I mentioned here the 771F it's fusible so I'm going to be cutting about an inch shorter because I want to fuse that to my block fabric for the bottom of my bag because I want to give it more of a base um, and then I'm going to fuse to the middle of that black piece and I'm going to fold it in and this we're going to put it to the side to add to the bag uh, a little later for the main fabric that we need for our fabric we're going to be need to cut from the lining and from her main fabric we're going to need to cut two so you're going to cut a, a strip of your fabric 14 inches okay uh, just like this I'm going to show you on this one so 14 inches for your main and 14 inches for your lining and the way you do it is you have your piece like this see I have one piece here I'll cut it just to show you this is my 14 inches that I have here and you see mine is directional so I would want my picture to be up this way right so um, then what I'm gonna do is I need 19 on the top and I need 14 in the bottom right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold my fabric first I would take my salvage off I'm gonna show you how you do that design So I'm just going to trim my salvage and then again I know this is my top this is my bottom so I'm going to put it like this since I want, need 14 in the bottom so I'm going to mark 7 this way so 7 this way so I would be here and just put with a little marking pen you're going to mark it there right and then here since the top we know is um 19 we're going to need nine and a half so a nine and a half on my piece let me just put it here okay let me just grab a pen so i can mark it so we're going to go nine and a half and seven and we're gonna cut it like that right just make sure don't cut on your folded side okay so then when you open you're gonna end up with something like this that's your shape for your bag so um, so you're going to cut that in your fabric, your main for the outside, and also for the lining, the same thing. Also, um, we're going to need some um, interfacing. So I'm going to be using um, a Pelon PT971. It's, a, it's fusible also. And that I'm going to need two times my bag did the same amount that I did here but we're not going to cut it I'm going to show you how you're going to do it so our next step is we're going to start working with this main one here so what you would do you would put right sides together okay and you're going to do a seam you're going to join the bottom okay so after you join the bottom okay that we end up something like that you're gonna get your um, I'm gonna show you on this one that I already did you're gonna 
get your interfacing and you're gonna fuse two times on your main fabric and your outside because you want to have a lot of body you want your, your bag to stay up like that so it doesn't get floppy all right then what I did on mine here as you see I already did mine I draw lines if you're good with free motion you can go ahead and quilt it after you have your interfacing fused to the wrong side of your fabric this is my join here then you're going to go ahead and you're going to fold this here like that after it's all quilted and then we're going to mark corners our corners here the base of our bag first what you got to do you're going to measure from the inside from the outside when this is folded here you're going to measure um, half an inch all right, half an inch, that's going to be your seam allowance. You're going to draw a line in both sides. And then after you draw your line, okay, from the line in, let's see, I might have it here. No, it's already faded. Okay, so from your line that you have here, from the line that you're going to draw here, my pen is now writing, you're going to mark one and a half inches in, and one and a half inch up and you're gonna cut that little square you're gonna do that to that side and to this side you're also gonna do that to your lining however your lining okay also you're gonna do that to the lining the same thing so you're gonna mark it from here to there, there to there, and um, and then you're gonna cut your little square. Okay, this is all the materials you need. I think I went through all the steps. So now we're gonna start sewing. I already did my um, my outside fabric, so this part is ready. So now what I want to do, I want to add my pocket to my lining. So. If you don't want to add a pocket, it's okay. So what I would do, find the middle of your fabric, crease it, and do the same to your pocket. Crease it so you know where's your middle. Then you're going to go here and I would go about you don't want to go too much to the bottom because this is going to be your bottom so you're going to go about maybe about two inches maybe a little bit less it's up to you I mean okay so I'm doing about two inches down and I'm going to even that out I'm going to put some pins and I'm going to go ahead and attach that to my pocket Okay, I'm going to attach these together. I'm going to sew them around. After I've done that, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. When I go, I'll take a few pieces. So um, we're also going to finish our main here. Okay, remember that I told you um, we have this part here just to add the base. So this part here should be exactly the size that you have here, your opening, more or less, okay? So it should fit right in there, in that opening, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to put pins here. And the reason that I have this a little shorter is because I want to eliminate the bulk here when I do my corner, because otherwise it will be very thick to sew. I suggest you use a size 16 needle when you're working with several layers and uh, when you do these lines here a walking foot is really good because you will do a better job so then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna sew this here and here and I'm also gonna do a couple lines I'm gonna kind of quilt it as I did in mine here as you see I have a lot of lines that went across so just to quilt it so we'll stay stable Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare all those pieces and I'll be right back with our next step. So I'm back, I attach my bottom. So her next step is other zipper. 
So I have a zipper here, as you see, is way longer than what I need. So what we're going to do normally what we always do, we're going to um, put right side of our zipper with right side of our fabric. And you're going to go ahead, divide it half and half to the side. And you're going to go ahead and do a top stitch there and secure it in place. Then you're going to come with one of your pieces of your lining. All right, and you're going to do the same. So we're going to secure it there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Put some pins. I normally secure it first in my fabric, then I do my lining. Then what I do is, after I sew it, I'm going to end up having a line here. So after I sew, I have a line here. So then I put that and I follow that line. So they are very even. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So the zipper is attached to that side, then we're going to do the same to this side. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring this to here. And you see, because it has that, it gives you a, a structure already, like, see, the bottom of your back. So, um, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to even everything out. And the reason why I was going to just mention just a little tip. The reason that I put my my lining after and I sew on this side, I sew on the top of that line, is because I don't want my lining to end up bigger than the fabric. Because if you sew on the side of the lining, this fabric is not stable. So what's going to happen, the foot of the machine, it's flat. So it's going to put pressure here and your fabric is going to keep going like this. And by the time you get to the end, you're going to end up with extra fabric. So you always want to sew on the, the side that has uh, uh, interfacing or a stabilizer or anything that, you know, it's slightly thicker. So you're going to try to sew it on that side. So... Now we're going to move our lining to here. Of course, we have to also do a top stitch. So go here, take it to the iron, flatten it up, and do a top stitch here. Okay, just like that. After you've done that, okay, after you've done that, you're going to bring your zipper here, your zipper to this side of the fabric. You're going to even everything out over here. Make sure it's all even, that your sides are even together. And again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take this to, to the machine and you're going to sew that there. Then you're going to put your lining on top. Turn it to this side and then sew on the on the line that you already have there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and um, then you're gonna open the the zipper to do a top stitch on the other side. All right, let me just go do that. I'll be right back. So I sew my zipper. I did a top stitch. I secure it, and I have something like this. So what we want to do now. If you don't want to break your zipper, okay, what you can do is move this this way. You're going to get a needle and thread. And about one inch in, about one inch in from here, you're going to do a couple stitches to secure just to secure it in place so the zipper doesn't stay open. We need the zipper to be closed. Because what we're going to do here, we're actually going to cut a little corner here. We're going to do something like what we have here. Okay, so we're going to do about one inch. So I need to cut about one inch here square in both sides. This is why I normally try to break my zipper for that reason. Uh, because then I, I can close it and leave my, my pole in the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead on mine. I'm going to break it. So I'm just going to cut that off and cut that off. Okay. So
and I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna use a second pull but you don't have to you can just use one but I want to use as a double so I'm gonna put one extra pull so I'm gonna go here to my side my right side I'm gonna put it here like this right sides together and clip a little piece like I told you guys before don't even out your zipper like that put it in and pull I'm gonna go to this side then you're gonna bring it to the middle Okay, if you end up with a little bump like that, you're going to have to redo it. Okay? So in my case, I have a little bump here. So I'm going to take it. I'm actually going to bring this more to the end so I have a better closure here. Just even it out. Make sure they're straight. Then pull. There you go. So that's good. So I'm going to bring this more to the middle. So remember that I told you I need to cut a, a corner here. So I'm going to put my zipper like that. So from our seam allowance, remember we had half an inch seam allowance. We did one, we did that corner. We're going to do one inch up, one inch. Okay, so we need about one inch from your zipper and from that line so from there there one inch so you go here you go one inch and from there there from the edge of your zipper one inch okay so you're going to do a little box like that. And we're going to cut it. Another thing that you can always check, you can always get this one. If you're not sure if you got the right measurement and you can put it there and have a look okay All right just double check make sure this is straight in this case here I don't want my zipper to open so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get my clip that I have here. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to secure it in place. Okay, it's just a couple stitches on top of the zipper. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and secure these. I'll be right back. So those are secured. Now we're going to close our bag. So what we're going to go ahead, we're going to go here. And so this seam here, over here, just this, the sides. Even out your fabrics. Use pins, clips, whatever you have available sew that there and we're going to sew this here also we can also go ahead and sew this side here and this side here after you sew that we're going to close this corner and here I have a line here in the middle that was my middle, see I had clipped it in the beginning, so I'm going to put that middle to middle and I'm going to also close that up. But before I close that up, I need to attach this in there. So you got to decide how long you want this or how you want this to be and cut that to size. Okay, so in my case, I think up to here is okay. I can just attach it and then um, adjust it later. So before I attach that, I'm going to put this right to my middle in here. 
and I'm going to add that in there. The same thing to the other side, okay, to the middle, and sew that there. You can also go ahead and um, close a little bit here on this side here, and we're going to close a little bit here. Just leave enough for turning the bag inside out. After that, you're going to close also your corner. So you're going to sew a little piece here, a little piece here, leave an opening big enough to turn, and then you're going to go ahead and also sew your corners, okay? Okay, then I'm going to show you how to do this part here, okay? After I've done that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So now I, all I need to close is these sides here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to open that like this. Okay, I'm going to bring my seam from this side to the middle of my zipper. And the seam from my lining to the middle of the zipper. I'm going to put some pins. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. Right. This is thick, so use a size 16 needle. Try to open the seam if you can, just to eliminate a little bit of the bulking, the bulk. Sorry. And we're also going to do the same to here. So, seam middle of the zipper. And lining. Gonna open it also, and the seam, side seam, middle of my zipper. Oop. Just take your time, fix the best you can. Bring that there and there. Okay. Then you're gonna go ahead and sew that there and there. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so my side here and here. Now I need to turn the bag to the right side. So I'm just going to pull open my zipper so I can actually pull all this out. Now let's have a look if I put all the right pieces. My machine wasn't very happy with all these layers, but it's done. Okay, let's just check all your pieces are straight. If not, you might have to go in and fix it. So now all we have to add is our tabs. I'm going to add the, uh, the, the rivets here on the side. And so I'm not going to be sewing this down. But if, um, if you don't have that hardware, what you can do is put this in a sewing machine and try to do a little seam. It's a little bit more difficult when the bag is done, but it can be done. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to Go ahead and sew this there and I'm going to bring this to the middle here and I'm going to add uh, rivets on my bag here. But I'm not even going to put through my lining the rivets, um, but you can. I mean you can definitely put it through the lining. It's just a lot of layers and the ones that I have it's a medium. So I'm going to go here I think. Do I want any? Now you decide how tall you want that. So and this is gonna have to come like that after. Okay, if you want this shorter, the bag to collapse a little bit more, you um, fold a little bit more of this so you can trim a little bit off. Okay, make sure you have both at the same size around there. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that and um, I'm just going to put the rivets on in place. I think I did one video that had rivets. So you mark them how, how many you want it. And, um, but I'm not going to do that on camera because it will take too long. Now all we have to do is attach our straps also. So the straps, I'm going to attach 
So I have my strap here. And as if you remember the, the Peltex, it wasn't all the way to the end. You see the edge here? It's kind of floppy and here it's hard, right? I did it on purpose because what I want to do, I want to fold this like this, like a little triangle. Okay? I'm going to measure from here to here where I want my straps. So about, so you're going to find your middle. So 7.75 around there. You're going to do a little dot. Okay. So about my middle. And from there, I'm going to measure about 3 inches to each side. Then I can decide how high I want it from the top. And I think I'm just going to go from the edge of my fabric. Maybe about two and a half inches. So I'm going to transfer my marking there. And same thing here. Where's my other marking? It's half. It's there. Two and a half. So my marking was there. I need about two and a half. So about there. So this is where I'm going to add my straps. So as I said, you're going to fold this little edge like that. You're going to go here where we did our marking and we're going to put it there and we're going to do a seam across here just to secure our strap in place. And the reason that I like that little triangle like that, of course this needs to be trimmed a little bit, is because I put it on top of each other. When I go like this, I don't have any bulk fabric on the sides here. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, sew that there, and do the same thing to this side. So this is my little square, little square, I'm going to put it right in the middle of that dot, okay? And in this case, I'm actually going to be sewing that on top of my lining. If you have a pocket, just make sure you're missing that pocket, that you pull your pocket down before you sew that little piece there, okay? Um, you could also attach these before you close your bag, okay? Just because I'm going to put the rivets, so I, d I wasn't too concerned of putting it before, but you can, you can add these before. So you're going to go ahead and sew those. I'm just going to put pins for now because you know, we'll go the same to the other side and your bag is like that. So I'm just going to, so when this is pinned, your bag goes down slightly like that. So it gives you more that shape. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish these pieces. I'm just going to show you on this one here. So I saw that and then what I did, I went ahead and I put the rivet on top. As you see, it's here. Also, there's one there, one there. Um, here, I also added the rivets on the side here uh, on top of my fabric and um, here you can always also do one but I didn't do on this one then your bag is done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial we'll um, see you next Saturday for another video happy sewing everyone <music>